Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Okay. okay, that's good. That's good. I'm happy to see you again. Okay. Um. I believe were you able to go through what we did yesterday? Yes, yes. I was looking for the thing. I was looking for the. I was looking for the test three. The test six. By then I went there. We still wasn't there. When I was coming to by I saw it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It wasn't there. Okay. So um. Today we want to continue from where we um, left last time, but we are going to do more. Now we were doing the um, um, two by. We did the. Uh, uh, we've not done two by two, okay. So today we want to do that and see how it will go, okay. So now all the principle that we are Hello? using here. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. So, all the principles that we've used so far, you have to look at them. Which one that is better for you? Okay. So, I'm going to... When you... Yeah, the yeah. Sir, sir, I believe them because I couldn't hear anything. You couldn't hear anything? Yes, sir, I left the and came back. Okay, what I'm saying is um, we are going to continue from where we left yesterday. So I'm going to, uh, we today we will try to solve two by two and see how it will go okay but then we are going to use a different method to again and this one too is easy okay i believe some of you might not know your timetable very well because if maybe you ask you of eight times eight you might take time to even give in the answer which shouldn't be so okay we want you guys to master that okay if somebody asks you eight times seven you should be able to give out the answer okay but then those who are in their lower grade that they might find it difficult to do that we have another way of uh, helping them also to learn okay so from that we are moving straight from these points and then we graduate to a tougher questions okay as we are moving just take note of what that we are doing okay because um, we will go details into how to put formulas together, how to solve long division equations and all those things. We will do everything and uh, how to check your answers. If you are working any math question, how to prove it, check that whatever that you have gotten is the right answer. So if maybe your teacher mark you down, you can challenge that by proving what you have done. Okay, so there are a lot to learn okay so just cooperate and let us all enjoy the course okay so let me share my screen with you yeah can you see my screen Yes, 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 please. Okay, yeah, yes, okay. So, uh, let me open my Now, when you log in, you saw that I've added some information here. Okay, let me... Let me 
me change my account to student account so that it will be easy. Okay, so um, we've done up to this side. So today we want to tackle this, okay? And then we will also work this. This one is two by two, okay? And this is one by one, okay? So um, let's do that quickly. One by one, I will just solve a few questions here let me copy few here to the page where we'll be working so let me take my sheets Model. Then, I will see model one. No, we are in model two. Okay. We are in model two. If left model one, we are in model two. Okay. 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 So what? I wasn't keeping track of that one. Oh, okay. So okay. I but, but we are in model two. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so I have a number here which I'm going to use. So I have this number. This one I'm solving is one by one. Okay, so we are dealing with one by one. Okay, so I have eight times nine. Okay, this is a question. So to solve that, those who are in the lower grade you watch this so to solve this um now you don't know eight times nine but what we are seeing here is with this method you need to look for a number now you realize that let's take that this eight to nine they are all closer to ten so look for yeah i know i know but then let's follow the step those for the sake of those who don't know so now here i'm picking a number you see this number is closer they are all closer to 10 okay so i'm picking 10 as a number that i'm going to use to solve now you ask you i want a number that can help me to get the same number as i'm having here so you can see that 8 is less than 10 by all 2 okay so it means that down i'll write my circle here i write my circle here okay so inside this box i'm going to write what is less than 10 2 so i'll write here okay minus 2 meaning that 2 minus 10 will give me 8 okay 
I'll write in another box here minus 1 which means that 1 minus 10 will also give me 9 okay so I'm going to find the answer I don't know 8 times 9 so this is the way I want to help us to solve that so now what you have to do is you have to this number go to this diagonal this one also go to this diagonal so any other way you do it it should be the same so here means subtraction okay we are subtracting from each so if i subtract 2 from 7 2 from 9 it will give us what negative 2 from 9 will give us what 7 right if you subtract this also from this is 7 so any way you do it the answer should be the same you only need one so i'll write my 7 here okay now come to this side this is the number that we use so you multiply the number by the answer that you got here so 10 by this so but you know that when you are multiplying any number zero to any number just add the zero so you don't need to worry yourself so i'll add my zero here okay so now i have 70 so the next thing is this one that we have here we have to multiply this okay so multiplication so it means that negative two times negative one will give me positive what two so i will add plus two so it means that the answer is supposed to be 72 okay so those who don't know okay for the sake of those who don't know their multiplication timetable and you are in lower grade you can still use this to solve any question okay so let's do so the step is first thing you look for the number that is for now that is how i will see so what we are seeing the number we are seeing is a reference number that you can depend on so i pick here 10 it doesn't mean that always it should be 10 okay it can go beyond that it can go beyond 10 okay so if i pick this one it should give me the answer so now let's see that i have to pick another one here let's pick another one assuming we are picking um eight times seven okay so i'm still depending on the reference number that i'm having here so my reference number is 10 so now you keep this one as your reference number the one that you are going to use so you can put it in the circle this is your reference number so this is my reference number okay so i have this one here now let's come to the down part so now i know that here my circle is drawn down there i have another circle here okay so 10 i know that 8 is less than this by what negative 2 by 2 so i'll put my negative okay now this one is also less than this by what 7 so which is 3 minus 3 sorry okay so when you are done this way you make sure so you know that this one is going so when you subtract from here you should get the same answer anyhow you do it so you don't need to worry or so one you can just take one and you are gone so here i'm going to get what what will be the answer who can tell me Five, right so five then here will be what zero okay because 
this is well zero so i'll just add it okay now i'll come down there multiply this by the negative times negative will give me what negative times negative is positive so i'll have plus six so i know that when i multiply seven times eight times seven will give me 56 okay let's take any number let's see four times nine let's do that and see so if i have four times nine i don't know yeah you should write it so four times nine those in the lower grade you don't know four times nine so how can you do that i can still pick my reference as 10 because they are all closer to 10 <coughs> so your reference from our previous class we are working with what something a whole number that is that has zero in them so we can think of 10 you can use 20 so if the number is closer to that you can use that you can use 30 okay you can use up to 100 so multiples of 10 up to 100 and above okay so depending on what you are working on okay so now you can see what we are working on here is closer to 10 so we cannot just you can't pick 20 it will be far so my reference is 10 because 10 is closer to these numbers okay so now from down there i can draw my circle i draw my circle okay so now know that this one is less than by what negative for six so i know that negative six negative six minus ten will give me four here will also minus one will give me nine so when you do your cross any other way you should get the same answer so equals to minus okay so if six minus this will give me what three right this one will give me three so i have my three here okay so i'll add my zero here because i have 10 here, so zero here it's negative six times this will give me what plus six so i know that the answer is supposed to be what 36 so you can this one to really learn how to do this in your head and it's easy to know your timetable those who don't actually know now let's take for instance now you realize that all that we are working with is on um less than the reference number let's pick a number that is above the reference number and see so i'm picking a number do you understand what you are doing no i did not catch no. you no, and not catch any of that. Okay. Okay. Um, um, a negative part, so I don't understand how you okay, now all of you take note of this. Okay. Now what that we are doing is to help us to know our multiplication timetable very well. Those who are not good in keeping or knowing this especially if you are in lower grade and then you want to do all this thing when you don't want to use calculator now all that we are doing we want to eliminate the use of calculator entirely because when you do exam time some of the special bc you are not allowed to use calculator how do you solve your work so we want to use our mind to do all these things okay so what we are saying is now if i have a number here eight times nine and you want to know it what is eight times nine but i don't know eight times nine how can i find my answer 
I don't want to use calculator. So, what other avenue do I have? Okay. And we are saying that there is a way to do that. Okay. The way is now this number that I'm having, 8 and 9. Okay. They are, I will find a reference number that is closer to these numbers. Okay. This is 8, this is 9. But I always, from our previous class, we say that always we want to work with what? Zeros. So, I'm not going to pick a reference number like 12 because it will be difficult for me to work with. I'm not going to pick a reference number like 9. It will be difficult for me to work with. I want numbers that with 0. Okay. Now you see that 8 and 9 is closer to 10. So when I pick 10, I, it can help me to do my calculation. Okay. You can decide to pick 20 if the number is closer to 20. You can pick that if the number is closer to 30 you can pick that okay 100 okay so do you understand up to this point hello okay so now let's continue okay so now that we know that eight times nine the uh, reference number we can pick that is closer to eight and nine is ten that is that can also help us to do our calculation because we always want to work with zeros okay so now i have my 10 here now you ask yourself what 10 and 8 and 10 okay 8 is what less than what 10 by what margin what is the difference is 2 okay so if i know that I subtract 2 from 10, I'm going to get 8. Okay. Now you look at this 9. I want like the weight, the same thing that we did from the other side. Like if I have uh, 16, I can break 16 into what? 10 plus what? 6. Do you understand that one? Hello. Do you understand that one? Uh huh. So the same thing that we are doing here. Okay. So for instance, I've given sixteen. Uh, sorry, I've been given sixteen times five. Okay. Now because I can't work with, I want to break this one down. So I have for ten plus. Okay, now I can work with this. I can work with the 10. I can work with this. So I can easily do that. Okay, now this one to be the same thing that we are doing. I have 8. What other way can I represent this number? And I'm saying that this 8 can also be minus 2 minus this thing. 10 will give us what? 8. Okay this one is nine another way to get it because you have your reference and when you subtract one from this you will get your nine okay that is what we are doing here so now when you are able to get this the next thing is you subtract okay so the step is first you look for your reference number step one when you have this you look for what reference number Okay, that is the first step. Okay, your ref number. You look for your ref number. Okay, the next step is what? You look for the difference between the ref number and the number you are dealing with. So now, what is the difference? It's two. So you write your two down. Okay, so you draw your circle and you write the two down. Then here you look at what is the difference between the reference number and this number. It's 1. So you write to into another circle down there. Now when you are done with that, the next step is we are subtracting. Okay. So now you draw diagonal. Okay. So any other way, it should be the same. If I subtract 1 from 8, I will get what 7. If I subtract 2 from 9, the same thing so we just take one 
that is easy for you so if i do my this, alarm is breaking hello can you hear me yes okay yes. Yes. okay so now if i do that i'm also getting the same okay so once you are done you multiply yes. your reference number by the answer you got so it's seven so now times my reference will give me what 70. now when i'm done i'll come to the down part okay the difference that i got so you multiply that so negative two because the reason why we are having negative when it is down is negative if for instance if you are dealing with up you put the positive i'll come to that so now for now anytime you are dealing the difference is down it means it's negative okay so you add your negative sign there okay so when you multiply negative times negative it's positive okay so this one is easy to find any answer that you want okay in terms of multiplication now let's me let me give you something bigger than what we have so now i have something like 12 12 times let's say 8 okay now 12 times 8 i don't know i want to do this so the same thing is i know that 12 and 8 they are closer to 10 and it's always easy to work with 10 okay so i'll pick my reference number as 10. now you ask yourself this number that we are having here okay 12 is what is bigger than 10 by whole 2 so now this time my circle will go up okay so now it will go up so here i'm going to have 2 which means that 2 plus 10 is 12. now this one is less than 10 so it means that my circle will come what down by whole 2 okay now when it's up it's positive because you are adding you can see that here you are adding 2 plus this will give you 12 so it's positive now when it's here we know that you are subtracting then you get this so it's negative you add your negative sound there okay now the difference is you always do diagonal so this one this 8 is for this two so it will match up to this this one is also for this so it's also match up to this okay so if i subtract 2 from 12 i will get what 10 if i so i add 2 plus 8 it's also 10 any other way you do it will be the same thing so i have my 10 here okay then the next thing is to add multiply 10 by this so it goes zero i just add my zero there as you already know so now that i'm done i'm going to multiply these two okay so positive two times negative two will give me what negative four i believe you know that yeah well. okay so uh sorry let me arrange it well let me do the arrangement well so my arrangement will be negative four okay so now i have negative four so if i add anything here will be four here sorry because i'm subtracting okay so I know that we your mass as you know you have to borrow from here making here 10 and then here also 10 so here I'm going to have what 6 okay and here, here is left with what 9 right okay so it means that 12 times 8 is what 96 do you understand? What? Hello? 
Hello. Hello. Hi. Yeah, do you Hi. understand? Do you all understand? Yeah. Is it difficult? Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. No, okay. No, it's not difficult. All that you need to do is to Okay, no, let, let's see how we can um, try our hands on some of them. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? No, can you hear me? What mistake are you talking about? Hello. The e, uh, the e that combined with the other question. E that is combined with what? Yes, when you go down, when you go down to the test yourself, the, uh, the E is combined with the D again. Okay, 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 no problem. I will check that. Okay, thank you. Okay, so now um, we are. We can um, all follow this, okay? So you can see that I added some of them down here for you, okay? So now, if I have this, let's say we want to work with 100. So I have here 96 times. Hey. Okay, so what I want us to do is just watch. Can I can I clean the board? No, no. Just okay, okay, you are still writing. So now we want to do this. Now I have here ninety six times ninety six. Okay. 96 times 96 now who can tell us how we solve that what reference number can we use what reference number can we use 100, 100. okay 100 okay 100 Okay, so I have my circle here. So now, will I draw the circle or down or it should go up? Down. Will the circle go down? Down. Why? Down. Why is that it should go down? Okay, so now the reason. Okay, okay, thank you. The let me answer the, the reason why we are writing this down there because we are using what 96, 96, which is what lower than the reference number. Okay, you only go up when the number is above the reference number. Let's say 12. Is above this so we are going to add the moment is down you go down it means that you are going to what subtract okay so now here is down so now what is the difference what do you need to add to 96 to get to 100 what do you need to add to What? Is it plus? Is it plus four? Okay, minus four. It's minus four because we are what? It's lower than what the reference number. So minus. 
Okay. That would be what 92, right? Then what will you do? You add your zeros to them, okay? Because when true. when you multiply, it will be like that. So you get 9,200. Then you multiply okay. negative times negative is what positive. So you have something like yes. plus what? 16 right 1 6 okay so now this one will give you what you can tell me 6 it will, be, it will give you 9 9216 okay 9216 so it means that if I'm doing 96 times 96, I should know that it's 9,216. Okay. It's not difficult. Okay. It's very simple. Let's try last one. Then you can do something on your own. And let's see. So now I'm going to pick another number like 92 times. 97 Okay, so what will be my reference number who can give me? 100 okay And then where would the circle go? Where would the circle go? Down. Down the next okay. Why? 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 You can tell me why. Why? So because this number is lower than the reference number. The 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 number is less than the reference number. Lower than the reference number. Okay, so. We have what minus what eight, right? And here will be a minus what three. Minus three. 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 Okay. So now you do your cross with three. Any other way, it should be the same. So, so what will be the answer here? What will be the answer there? It should be what? 89, yeah. right? It should be 89, right? 90. It will be 90. No. It should be what? 89. 89. Yes, 89. 89. Okay, 89. So now you do you add your zeros. Because... Yeah, then I said that there are two zeros. That's four times. So now we have here, what is there? 8 times what? 3. The whole answer will be 89, 8 times 3. The whole answer will be 89, 8 times 3. Now 8 times 3, what is 8 times 3? Who can tell me? Negative 8 times 3. Negative 8 times negative 3. 12, 12, 12. Hey, are you sure? Negative 8 times negative 3. Here is 8, it's not 4. Okay, so we have positive 24, so plus 2, 4. The whole answer will be 9,924. Okay, so we are going to have, is it 9,000 or 8,000? 8, 8,000, 
Do you have it now? Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now we need to we need to be able to do any multiplication or whatever. No matter how big the number is, we should be able to calculate. Okay. Yeah, we have a home. I have already given you the homework there. Okay. So if you don't understand anything, let me know. I should take it okay. I should take it again, right? Yes, please I did not get to Okay. Please can I clean the board? Can I clean the board? Okay. 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 Yes, Okay, I'm cleaning it. Okay, so now I want you to get this point down. Okay, now when you are you have a number, hey, please mute your microphone. Okay, now when you have a number, I'm using this number. Please, hello, mute your microphone. Okay, so I have here eight times. Please, I'm writing two questions here. Okay, I'm going to use it to explain to you so that you get it right. Now I have another here 12, 12 times, let's say 12. Okay, let me 12 times 15. Okay, is the second question. Okay. Now, once you have this, okay, and you are multiplying, the first thing that you need to do is you need to find a number that can represent this number eight. You need to find a number that can represent this. Okay, and we all know that. The easy way to solve math question is to work with the zeros. Okay. Have you gotten that point? The easy way to work with math is to work with what? Zeros. So now we look for a perfect whole number that is from 10, let's say 10, 20, 30, 100. So those ones is easy for us, especially at 10. So if I'm working with this, I know that these two numbers is closer to what? 10. So my reference number that I need, I'm picking 10 as my reference number. That is going to help me to do my calculation. So I ask myself, is 8 less than 10? If it's yes, then I'll ask myself, okay, how many times? okay or what's the difference so if the difference is two it means that whatever that i'm going to is good is going to go down now i ask myself is six also less than ten yes so it means that i have to draw my circle down okay so this circle will go down this circle will go down okay now let's go to this one this one two you realize that it's also closer to what? 10. So I'll pick my reference number to be 10. Okay. Then I'll ask myself, is 12 also less than 10? No. So it means that my circle is going up. Is 15 less than 10? No. So my circle is definitely going up then i have to look for 
what's the difference okay between the 10 and the 12 the difference is what 2 so i'll write it up here this one the difference is what 5 i'll write it here okay now once it's up it's positive always keep it once you write it up then it means that the sign is what positive plus once it's up the sign is what positive plus it means that 5 plus 10 is what 15 2 plus 10 is 12 so i've gotten this part okay now let's come here you ask yourself what is the difference between 10 and 8 which is also 2 so i write it here and 6 and 10 is also what 4 so i also write it here now once it's down the sign is negative so you put your minus sign there you put your minus sign there it means that 2 minus 10 is 8 4 minus 10 is 6 have you gotten up to this point yes okay okay so now once you are done you do a, a cross way okay from diagonal okay now you subtract this from this okay so now i'm going to put my equal sign there so here will be minus two from this okay which is going to give me what four if i subtract this from this it's also going to give me four so any other way is four is it? Mm -hmm. yeah okay so now we've gotten our four here times your reference number which will give us 40. once you are done you multiply that down which one no we are we do that in your head okay you don't want to write this one it will make the process so you just do that in your head okay and just put the answer down there okay okay so now we have here you multiply this one so minus two times minus four is positive so it will be plus okay so no so now we have this one here which is what 48 okay i believe you understand this now here to the same thing so you have to do your cross with so this five is for this okay and this one is also for this so this will go here and this one will also go here okay so five plus this any other way should give us 17 okay five plus 12 is 17 one seven okay then you multiply by this which is what 170 you multiply the top so it will be plus this 2 times 10 is 2 times 5 is what 10 you plus 10 so 1 0 so which means that 1 8 0 okay do you all understand now? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So that's yes. good. So I've given you work there that you are supposed to solve for me. Okay. So um, tomorrow, uh, listen to me. Tomorrow you will not be meeting. Okay. Yes. So what I want yes. you guys to do is
Yeah, tomorrow is Saturday, I know. Tomorrow is Saturday. So, hey, listen. Listen very carefully. Now, Saturday, what I want you guys to do is... Um, you'll be... Monday... We are going to have a presentation you guys i said it's going to be a competition among you guys so i'm expecting that you practice more so i've given you a lot to practice okay so now we've done a lot so any number you know that which formula that will work well for you okay so you guys to do more practice so Monday is going to be more interactive. I'm not going to teach. And then you guys are going to work very hard. So I'll ask you questions. I'll prepare a lot of questions. And then I'm going to group you. Accra versus K um, Takwade. Then I'll have uh, Who versus Koforidia. So you guys to prepare for me. Okay. So I want the region that will be able to win the competition that is on monday you guys should prepare okay so if you are okay and if there's any uh, question you can no robot is different okay robot is individual with robot if you're able to win okay so let's see what will happen if there's any question you can ask me if you don't have any question to, then we can close the class okay our time is up bye bye You are not done with the writing. Are you saying you are not done with the writing? Yes. Okay. Okay, so you can write. Say bye bye. Bye. If you are not done with the writing, you can write. Okay.